This quick guide tutorial from ExoCAT shows on some sample cases how to use the expert mode correctly. The first sample case is changing parameters for individual teeth. In the wizard mode, all parameters defined in the wizard window will be applied to all teeth. This is also the case if, for instance, you adjust the cement gap thickness. As you might see now, the cement gap thickness has been decreased for both teeth at the same time. If you want to make different settings just for the molar, you have to switch to the expert mode. Then click on the restoration part you'd like to change. A new toolbar appears in the lower area of the screen and the activated tooth will be colored in blue. Note, with controller shift, you can select a series of teeth. In the expert toolbar, the active part will always be indicated. The toolbar guides you in the expert mode. It only shows the available work steps in a logical order. The list will become more populated as you proceed with the design. Additionally, the work step the wizard would restart with is colored in orange. Now, select crown bottoms to adjust the cement gap settings for tooth 26. The crown bottoms dialog appears and you can adjust the settings exactly as you would do in the corresponding wizard step. Click the OK button when you are done. That's it. You can restart the wizard very easily by clicking on the wizard button in the right frame. Before we continue, I want to inform you that if you move the cursor on the expert toolbar without any tooth selection, parameters changed in the expert mode will be applied to all teeth. If, for instance, you open the cement gap settings again without any tooth selection, no value will be displayed for the cement gap thickness as individual values have been set before. If you set a value now, it will be applied for all teeth and overwrite the individual setting you have done before. The wizard might be restarted again. Did you know that you might also use the expert mode with the right mouse context menu? If you do a right mouse click in the background, you can access the expert mode in the context menu. You can now go to the crown bottom step to adjust the cement gap settings. These new settings will be applied to all teeth, just as if you use the expert toolbar without any selection. In the right mouse context menu, you will find not only all the work steps available at that stage, but also additional functions like the edit meshes feature, the freeform scan data feature, or the show hide tooth axis feature. And here too, as you proceed with the design, the list will become more and more populated. To select a tooth with the right mouse context menu, right click on the desired restoration part, then select the desired work step. Here too, the active part will always be indicated on top of the context menu. Let's proceed with the wizard. Let's try another very interesting case to demonstrate a more complex operation, which is changing the margin line and the minimum thickness in a finished design. Imagine you want to change the margin line for tooth 24 because, for instance, you have decided afterwards to create a collarless ceramic crown. Or imagine you have discovered on tooth 26 that there is not enough space for the ceramic and you'd like to change the minimum thickness. In this example, you've arrived at the last wizard step and the scene has not been closed and saved yet. Select Expert Mode in the wizard or click on Expert in the right frame. Many people think that changing the margin line on a finished design is not possible as this step is not available if you have started the Expert Mode by clicking on the background. 
It is only available when you select a tooth first, as the margin line definition is a tooth individual operation. Click on the restoration part of the tooth you want to change. Now you can find the correct margin lines step. The margin line detection window automatically starts with the correct draw mode. Now you can adjust the margin line. Click OK when you are done. Your design will not be lost when the new margin line is computed. As we also want to change the minimum thickness for tooth 26, we select the tooth by clicking on the restoration part. Now click on the button Set Minimum Thickness and adjust the minimum thickness. Click Apply to recompute the restoration with the new settings. Click OK to finish the operation. You might stay in expert mode to, for example, freeform or remove material and to create a thinner crown in the occlusal area. Finish and export the new restoration by clicking on Merge and Save Restorations in the Expert Mode window, or simply by restarting the wizard. The restorations will be re-exported automatically. The third sample case is a very common example. Imagine you have produced the restoration, but the fit does not meet your expectations. You would now like to change the cement gap settings and maybe the insertion direction for a saved case. This time I have loaded a scene file from the dental DB. The wizard is started automatically. Let's switch to the expert mode. Note, if a scene has once been saved and closed, you have to delete the merged parts in the Delete Reconstructions window. Don't worry, this action will not delete your design, except for modifications you have done in the Freeform Merged Parts step. Now all the work steps are available again. We go to the bottom step. to increase, for example, the cement gap, and to change the insertion direction. The insertion direction step can be chosen in the right mouse context menu. Let's try to define a unique insertion direction. Apply the insertion direction axis and click OK to close this window. The new insertion will now be computed for your existing restoration. Now click on the OK button in the Crown Bottoms window to apply the cement gap settings. Simply restart the wizard to export the restoration with the new parameters. Click on I'm done to close and save the scene. The next sample case will show how to change a reduced tooth into a full anatomic crown. Again, I have loaded a saved scene file from the dental DB. Let's switch again to the expert mode. Once again, we have to delete the constructed parts to unlock all work steps. Imagine you would like to switch tooth 46 into a full contour crown. As we already designed an anatomical tooth before it has been reduced in the initial case, we might use this initial design. 
To resume this tooth's job at that step, we select this tooth and click on Delete Reconstructions again. But now we choose Only Reduced in the drop-down menu to delete the reduced tooth. Now we could click on Merge and Save Restorations to export the restoration with the anatomical tooth we designed in the initial job before the shrinking step. But perhaps we might do some fine tweaking for that tooth with the free forming feature first. This way, only this tooth can now be free formed. The rest of the restoration will keep the initial design. Click OK to finish the free forming operation. Click on Merge and Save Restorations or on the Wizard button to save and export the new design. In the next sample case, we will do the same as before in reverse direction. We will change a full contour crown in a finished scene into a reduced crown. Once again, I have reloaded a case and switched to the expert mode. I delete the merged parts. In the tools, you will find a feature called Change Reconstruction Types. In this window, you may change anatomical teeth into reduced teeth with a click. Confirming this change will allow shrinking for these teeth. Now, it is very important to select the tooth you want to shrink first. Otherwise, the other teeth will be reduced again when you click Reduce in the Expert mode. Set your shrinking parameters. When you are done, close the shrinking dialog. The Expert mode suggests now to continue with free forming. When you are done, close the freeforming dialog. The connectors have been adapted automatically to the reduced frame. But if required, you may also adjust the connector. Select the connector you want to adjust and click on the connector button in the expert mode. When you are done, Close the connectors dialog. Click on Merge and Save Restorations or on the Wizard button to save and export the new design. In the last sample case, I will show you how to change a tooth shape when most of the job is already done. Imagine you are in the free-forming step and you discover that there's not enough space for a molar tooth. You decide to change it into a premolar. Switch to the expert mode and right-click on the tooth you want to change. Click on Load Custom Tooth Model. You might even change the tooth library now. Click on the tooth you would like to select for this tooth. Click OK and confirm that you agree to discard your previous design for this tooth. The expert mode suggests now to correct the tooth placement. Click the OK button when you are done. Then you might freeform the anatomical tooth.
reduce the anatomical tooth. Reform the reduced tooth. Now you might go back to the wizard and continue the job at the stage where you switched to the expert mode. Thank you for watching this video.